hello beautiful viewers and welcome to another smc tutorial video and we will be discussing how to fund your binance wallet remember you need to fund your binance wallet for you to be able to perform all the numerous transactions that you might want to perform with your binance account so having logged in and set up your binance account and authenticated your email and phone number the next thing you want to do is to fund your binance account now if you are in nigeria you will not be able to use your card your bank card to fund your binance account due to the cbn regulations but if you are in other countries and you wish to use your card you just click on buy with your currency and when you click that let's say you want to fund usdt you select usdt there um you're in usa and you wish to buy usd so you just click in um $100 and then you click on buy USDT now it will ask you to you know impute your card details and then you just confirm that and then when you confirm that it will ask you to put up all your card information and your billing address and every other thing having done that you just click on confirm it will take you to another page where you just need to authenticate and verify that you are the owner of the card and then it will debit you and fund your binance account that easy so this is for those who would like to use their cards but for those in nigeria or also those abroad who, who like to use the peer-to-peer -peer p2p method all you need to do is head over to wallets down below at the bottom right and you click on wallets binance separate all the wallets by sport funding margin features and earn these are all the segments of all the wallets you can have on binance which is very very interesting and then if you wish to see an overview you click on overview this will give you the total amount of dollars in all the wallets that you have on binance now these wallets are different portfolios like your spot portfolios that hold all your cryptos your usd futures wallet this is where you trade your funding wallet this is another feature that binance has for their binance pay p2p and other internal functions for binance is called funding so this is where you see it you have your DeFi wallet. This is where you connect your trust wallet or any other decentralized exchange to your Binance. You have your isolated margin. You have your cross margin. You have your Coin M futures, which is also for trading. You have your Earn. These are for people who are staking to earn rewards. You have that wallet there for you to see. So this is how they group it for overview, which is very amazing so for us who just want to fund our wallet you know as the name implies you head over to funding and then you would like to use p2p so you see it right there it says p2p in funding you also have pay you have gift card and other pools but we'll get to all that later we just want to talk about funding so you click on p2p and when you click on p2p it will open up the p2p section for you it is already in my local currency which is nigerian naira so you can buy and sell your cryptos here via p2p it also gives you the exchange rate of those vendors that are willing to transact at this time if you wish to refresh you just pull down and then it will refresh for other active vendors available now, having said all of that and you're ready to buy your first crypto and let's say you want to buy 100,000 Naira worth of crypto. Now, if you want to buy this crypto, you can see something very unique about this page. Now, let's take, for example, this first vendor here. You can see his rate is 713 Naira per dollar and the quantity he has in his wallet is $1,306 and his limit buy that is what you can purchase your starting purchasing price is a hundred thousand naira and the maximum you can buy from him based on what he has in his wallet is 931,000 this is his preference now on the other side you can see all his trades that he has completed 7,178 you can also see that his completion score is 94.5 percent now if you also look at his name quick gain you'll see that he has 
a yellow tick which is binance verified tick so it's safe to say this guy is a verified vendor and he has completed over 7,000 trades and a lot of people trust him just below if you see johnny exchange you can see that he has completed more trades and has even a better rating and even has a verification badge there but he performs lesser transactions from 80,000 to 88,000 so now this is just to indicate that if you wish to trade on p2p always look to trade with vendors that have completed more trades and have good ratings it is very important so that you do not trade with scam vendors now if you scroll through you see a lot of vendors with 99 percent completion and you see a lot of them with good ratings i advise that anybody above 1000 trades is good for you to trade with now i'll explain how to go into a trade but first of all let me show you another easy way to buy your crypto via p2p so you can just click on this p2p up there and then select express now when you select express you will not be bogged with all of those different vendors lined up there binance is just going to help you do this in a very express manner i like to say that they will help you to scout through all the vendors and give you the best one possible so you just indicate that you want to buy usdt btc busd bmb or whatever but let's say you want to buy usdt and then you want to buy hundred thousand naira of uh, usdt now you click on buy with zero fee now when you click that it says 100,000 Naira. I will receive 140.25 USDT bank transfer. The rate is 713. Now, if you accept this, you just click on confirm purchase. Now, when you click on confirm purchase, this is Binance trying to match you up. Now, you see they have matched me up with the best person available, which is Quick Gain. Is the best person available and then you can see your buy usdt amount you can see the price you are buying you can see the crypto you will receive your order number your payment method right now if you drop down this by clicking that sign there you can see that you see your reference message if you wish to proceed and make payment for this crypto you just click on make payment now this is all of the vendors account details that you can use so you can decide to use this kuda bank for example you click on that and then you pay to the seller a hundred thousand naira and make sure the bank is correct make sure the account number is correct and always cross check the bank name there please do well not to add anything related to crypto in your description do not add btc do not add usdt don't add binance nothing about crypto should be in your bank description because it goes against um, cbn's policy and um, if you wish to chat with the seller you can see this chat icon there you click on it it's always important for you to click on it first so that you can see the welcome message of the seller now the seller says he only marks paid after paying he said provide cac showing your binance name before paying with a company account no third party payments pay to the current bank or we go to sleep for appeal yeah so this seller has given you his own terms and conditions and it's always important for you to follow through so let's say you have made the payment and you have successfully transferred a hundred thousand naira into this guy's account you can just click here that says transferred notified seller so binance will notify the seller that you have transferred a hundred thousand and the seller will go through his account and confirm that transaction and immediately release 140 usdt to your wallet now if this seller has also delayed there is going to be an appeal function where you can click on help and then on this help you can contact the seller or you can also cancel the order let's say you did not make any payment let's say you're not interested in continuing with this p2p you don't want to buy again you see where you have cancel here you can click on cancel and then 
it gives you a little tip that if you have already paid the seller please do not cancel because that means you are well willing to lose your funds and then if the seller does not reply the chat within 15 minutes you will be unaccountable for this order because it will automatically be cancelled by binance and binance also makes you understand that um, your account will be suspended for the day if you exceed three accountable um cancellations in a day this accountable cancellation means that um, if you cancel a transaction by yourself three times binance will not allow you perform p2p for that day and then it will not affect your completion rate if you make up to five unaccountable cancellations in a day meaning that um, if the seller does not fulfill five times in a day let's say you wish to buy crypto five times in a day and your seller does not complete their transactions and binance helps you cancel that transaction you'll be held unaccountable for it so this is just what this means so if you're okay with all of these tips you click on okay and then why do you want to cancel the transactions you just select anyone for me i can say i do not want to trade anymore and then you confirm cancellation and then you see it voila this p2p transaction is cancelled so it is very easy for you to use this express feature because it just makes everything a whole lot easier but if you wish to use the normal p2p where you want to select your vendors yourself you just scroll through and like i said earlier use a vendor that has completed more trades and has a good completion rate now when you have found anyone for example this quick gain again you just click on buy and when you click on buy you put the fiat that you want to buy let's say a hundred thousand naira you make sure it's within the person's limit and then you can also buy via crypto if you know the exact amount of crypto you need maybe 140 dollars or let's say 150 you just select that or or select the fiat and then you click on buy usdt now when you click on this it will take you to the same page that the express takes you to so this whole p2p buying is not rocket science it is very simple and i usually do advise that you use the express feature because it just makes life very easy for you so having done your p2p transaction the funds will be released here into your funding wallet you'll see it here like i have 17 dollars here it will be released into your funding wallet and then if you wish to transfer it to your spot you can then transfer it over to your spot for you to buy your cryptocurrencies so we'll do that in the next video now i hope i've been able to cover all of the secrets and everything that has to do with p2p and on your own it is important for you to try it out yourself and do well to acclimatize with the p2p section and um, start getting those usdts into your account because in our next video we'll show you how to buy and sell cryptos so thank you for watching see you in the next video